Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to do uh, what is not really a tutorial, but it's just going to be kind of a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to solve a problem that I had run into with using Perforce and Unreal Game Sync recently, where when I would be creating new workspaces, for some reason, uh, when the engine was starting to compile and, you know, Unreal header tool needed to uh, do its thing, uh, it was running into a problem where the .net utilities .dll wasn't able to write to a specific path. It didn't have proper access. So uh, I had no idea what was going on. So I eventually put a question on to Answer Hub, the Unreal Engine Answer Hub, and I got an answer. And that finally led me to uh, get to the right solution. And we're going to go over that solution. Uh, but we're also going to go over, because um, after that solution, I ran into another problem where... Uh, the derived data cache folder, it, it, it wasn't able to, it didn't have the derived data cache, so it couldn't actually co continue to compile the engine in the project. So we'll go over that solution as well. Um, so we'll get started. I have Perforce open. And we're first going to create a workspace incorrectly. And we're going to get that error, and I'll show you the error. So to incorrectly create the workspace, at least for my case, is we go uh, workspace new workspace i'm going to call this uh, incorrect workspace and i'm just going to change the directory to my e drive and just give a folder name incorrect workspace and then i'm going to hit okay so i have my workspace now i need to open up unreal game sync i need to open up a project workspace browse We'll see incorrect workspace, hit OK, and then path. We have incorrect workspace. We'll have my hero.u project. We'll hit OK. Now it'll open up Unreal Game Sync, and I'll see my repo and all my revisions. And I'm going to sync to head revision. And because I need to download about 170,000 files, it is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it do its thing. Um, when it's done, we will have the error, and I'll show you the error. And then once we see the error, we'll go over how to correctly create a workspace, and then we'll download everything again, and we will get past the issue where it's not able to properly generate project files with Unreal Header Tool with that DLL. But we should get another problem with the derived data cache. And if we do, I'll go over the solution as well for that. And will compile again and hopefully the engine will compile and the project will compile and the editor will open and everything will be okay. So I'll be back in just a second once this finishes syncing and we'll get that error and we'll go from there. Okay, so it finished updating to the latest revision and when it is attempted, you'll see here at the bottom, there is the error of Microsoft Visual Studio, specifically unable to copy file, blah, 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 dot net utilities dot DL to the specific path. Access to the path is denied. So basically it doesn't have permission to access the path and write to it. And that's why our Unreal Build tool failed to compile. So we need to correct this and the correct way to do it is you know, I, I tried to do it where you update the workspace settings, but it still gives me an error whenever I try to do that. So I'm going to create a brand new workspace again, and we're going to set it up correctly this time. So new workspace, we'll call it correct workspace, and we'll have the workspace root at the E drive and call it correct workspace. But now we're going to go into advanced settings. And we're going to need to do a couple of things. So we want mod times, set file modification times to what they were in the submitter's workspace to be true, and MR directory, delete workspace directories when empty. And I'm also going to set all write, leave all workspace write files writable when getting revisions, and then revert unchanged files. So this is the settings that basically this tutorial outlined um, that I'm going to link in the description. There's a tutorial about how to set up an Unreal project using Perforce. Uh, I used it when I originally set up this workspace uh, in the live streams. And it seemed like I was forgetting this step when creating additional workspaces. And this seems to have fixed the issue for me. So making sure these are the settings that you have is very important. So we're going to hit OK, and it's going to create that workspace. So now we have our workspace. So let's go back, open this new workspace, kind of like how we did before. Browse, uh, correct workspace, path, correct workspace hero, hero.u project, hit OK. And now we're going to get these files again. 
So we're going to get the updated, uh, most up-to-date revision, and it's going to do exactly what it just did for that old workspace with this new one. So 170,000 files because it's the engine code, it's the project code, it's all this code and files. So again, it's going to take a minute. Uh, so I'll be back uh, in a second once it's done. And what we'll see is it's able to generate project files, but if I remember correctly, I will get another error about the derived data cache folder. If we get that error, I'll go over it. If we don't get that error, I'll still kind of go over it, but we won't have the example in front of us, but I'll go into as much detail as I can. Um, so we'll wait for this to be done. We'll see what errors we get. Again, we should be good with this DLL. It should write to it because of those settings we set for the workspace. So we'll be back in a few seconds here. So I'll see you soon. Okay guys, welcome back. So we updated our workspace and it downloaded everything and it's been able to compile the Unreal Engine header and right now it's compiling all the specific modules that we need. So it has almost 2,000 modules to compile, but I believe after this compiles towards the end of compilation here, uh, you know, one of two things is going to happen. Either one, it's going to successfully compile and then we'll be good, or two, I'll get that error that I was assuming I would get with the derived data cache. If we do get the derived data cache error, we'll go over how to fix that. If we don't get, get it, I'll still explain what my solution is or was, um, and we'll we'll submit anyway to our to our workspace or our repo that solution because we do have to make a change to the INI file for the default engine INI uh, to do something with uh, shared uh, derived data cache, um, derived data cache I should say. Uh, so I'm going to let this compile and do its thing for for a while. It's going to take a little bit because it's the first time the engine is compiling. Uh, so it does take a little bit. Uh, once it's done, we'll come back and we'll see if we get any errors. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, hey guys, welcome back. So we finished everything on our Unreal Game Sync. So it com updated and compiled successfully without any issues um, with shared directory or anything, shared um, sh shared derived data cache or just derived data cache. So it seems like that's not a problem in this case, which kind of confuses me because I was getting that error before. Uh, so because like this did not exist, <laughs> this uh, th this directory so engine derived data cache that does that never really existed on my new workspaces. And from what I understand, uh, it shouldn't exist either because p four dot ignore should have uh, derived data cache there, and it does. Uh, so our ignore, so it's definitely ignoring this file. So I guess it generated itself correctly this time. Um, so that's good. But if you do get an error regarding derived data cache and that directory not existing, and it can't have access to any of these like uh, folders, so it usually has like a, I, I don't know, like some CPPs and dot, uh, dot H's there that you would need. But if you ever do run into that problem, a very useful reference here is this Unreal documentation. I will link it in the description as well. Uh, but basically, uh, there is a section where, where you can add to the default engine.ini. Basically, uh, since I compiled from source, I need this version, but if for whatever reason you download it from the Epic Games launcher, you need this version. Uh, so basically, you take this information and you update it with the directory that you have for your main repo. So for my case, uh, I will go into my main repo, uh, hero config, default engine I and I. And at the bottom here, I pasted it here in a sticky note. So let me grab this information. I don't need that. So basically this section is what we want to add to our default engine I and I. So that has shared derived data cache. And basically I'm adding specific information here in specific parts. So basically under local, we keep everything the same, but under shared and alt shared, we want to add the path to our repo. So I got E and the main repo engine derived data cache. That's all there. Everything else can pretty much stay the same. So just adding the directory for our main repo where our derived data cache is will at least fix for me, allow me to use shared uh, derived data cache and got rid of the error where I was not able to build from it correctly. So that fixes that problem. But as you can see now, my game compiles, the engine compiles, the editor compiles, everything's good to go. We're in debug and Visual Studio loads up as well. So just to recap, basically in our Perforce, uh, we have our correct workspace. And whenever you create a workspace, at least for me, 
and how I set it up based on that tutorial that I found online. Again, that will be linked in the description. We basically just need to have these advanced settings here. So all right, leave all workspace files writable when getting revisions. We gotta make sure that's true. Mod time, true. RMDIR, true. And then on submit, revert unchanged files. We want that as our option and we just apply that and we get the main repo. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was useful. I do want to thank um, the guy who answered me on answer help. I forget his name right now, but I'll say I'll write in the comments thanks to him specifically. I just and he'll be in the answer hub as well. Uh, so thanks for pointing me in the right direction. I hope somebody finds this information useful um, and doesn't run into this problem like I did. Uh, so thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you aren't subscribed already for more tutorials and for more live streams on how I'm developing my side project here uh, with <clears throat> creating using Perforce and Real Game Sync. I'm going to set up be setting up a Jira for ticketing and task management. I'm going to try to set up Jenkins for automated builds. I'm going to try to automate some other processes as well. And you know we're going to try to build a game in Unreal Engine 4 from scratch using the gameplay ability system. So that's our goal for 2020 specifically, uh, as well as 2021, you know, however long it takes. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to keep track of all that. Um, and also in the description, there is a link to our Discord server. So there's a lot of channels there for programming, art, design, things like that. Uh, where we can have open discussions, share knowledge with one another. So please check that out in the description and join. I'll be more than welcome to. Uh, so again, thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you next time.